Hey, Faith Community Church and friends. Uh, today, I wanna to share with you another prayer and a little um, encouraging focus and a scripture uh, for your day. Um, you know, I've been preaching about the parables and uh, as I said, I haven't been able to get to all the parables. I won't make to all of them, but uh, there's another parable in uh, the Bible that I think is really interesting and uh, worth reading today. And so I'm gonna read it for you and, uh, and then I'll have a few comments in a minute. This is, uh, this is a parable found in Luke chapter 14, um, starting at verse seven. When he noticed how the guest picked the places of honor at the table, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honor, for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he will say to you, friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of all the other guests. And then he says these words to, to give the explanation of this parable. Verse 11, for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. I love that uh, Jesus took a moment to um, say a parable about humility and why it's important to let other people be honored above ourselves. I, I know how hard it is. I, it's hard for me. Um, it's hard for a lot of us to let other people be exalted or uh, recognized above, our, above us. But Jesus had some wisdom here, didn't he? that if we allow others to be exalted, then when we are raised up, we will be exalted as well. And it's good wisdom. And I think it's just a good message for us today. And I hope it's a good message for you today. And that you will find um, that being a humble person is more valuable than exalting yourself uh, uh, in however that it gets manifested in your life. Well, will you pray with me at this time? Lord, teach me. Teach me what it means to be humble. Help me to wait my turn to speak and to be at peace when others outshine me. Grant that I may listen with a spirit of objectivity rather than a I know it all attitude. Lord, grant that I not only be content with who I am, but have confidence that your grace can make me better. I ask that you make up for whatever I lack and increase those desires within me that lead to true humility. Make my heart into yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.